welcome back to the channel guys uh, today I want to try out the Matrix Awakens Unreal 5 experience demo so this is one of the few Unreal 5 demos that are available for you guys to try out and uh, from what I've seen it's pretty mind-blowing only available on the PlayStation 5 on the Xbox Series X unfortunately not on the PC so I'm just gonna try this out on my PlayStation 5 and see how it goes Hi, I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean? when a world we can build feels as real as our own. Whoa, what just happened? Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. Marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Welcome to the Matrix. Wow. You still got it. Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice. Agents are bad. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. a movie before. Shoot the tires. Say no more. Ah! Keep them off us. You drive. I'll shoot. This is 
pretty ridiculous that you can actually generate something that looks like this in real time. getting in the way. She takes forever to reload sometimes as well. Pretty impressive. I have to, I have to give uh, Unreal Engine 5 its props. This is absolutely amazing. this damn helicopter. See the ray tracing as well. That was pretty impressive. So the demo is about 20 to 26 gigabytes, if I remember correctly. Not a massive download. So if you guys want to try this out, you can just get it from the PS Store. So you can toggle mass AI visualizations of literally every single car you can remove. Okay, that is... That is pretty impressive. Shows you how much it's actually doing. Toggle day and night. Wow, uh, think about how many films that you've seen start like this. I wouldn't, by a glance, be able to tell if that was real or generated, but that is seriously impressive. Toggle night night visualization. Okay, it's so all the triangles and that's being generated, you can pretty much see that. Way too many to count. Temporal super resolution. Toggle display rendered pixels. Meta sounds, toggle none out visualization. Wow. 
is if he can walk around in this type of quality. Man, this is insane. I mean, some assets don't look amazing. Like, some of these cars look, you know, a little bit dull. But this is proof of concept, obviously. Try crossing the road. Man, this looks seriously impressive. Yeah, I can fly the drone if I wanted to. Let's have a look around. Just the amount of detail that's actually available in real time is pretty staggering. really done to scale pretty well. Let's get back to walking, see if we can interact with anything. It's a lot of noise, like it's not the sharpest image. I can actually drive these cars as well, let me find something nice. These cars look ordinary. Is there anything sporty I can drive? Hold on, it looks like something interesting over here. One in black, one in green. I think I'll take the black one. No, that's more like it. Okay, we're good to go. So this is like an early preview of what to expect from Unreal 5. But this is... When people start talking about next gen, I guess this is what they really mean. Because this is something that normal engines really can't do all of this. Let's drive down this back street here. Man, there is a crazy amount of traffic everywhere. I'm going to try to drive up the middle. You're, inter you're able to just go anywhere. All of this demo is fully interactive, which is just ridiculous to me. Very impressive stuff. Be interested to see how our current PC would do with this demo. I've got an RTX 3090 and 5950X. We have quite a hot, very high speed SSD as well, so my IO is decent. So I'd be interested to see how current generation PCs perform. 
but the PS5 is definitely doing a good effort. Anyway, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.